Howdy folks and welcome to my channel, The Old Grey Goat. That's me. This vlog is an introduction to a series of videos I've put together to cover the Tour Aotearoa cycle ride, or the TA as I'll call it from here on. The TA is a cycle route across New Zealand, starting at the very top in Cape Reinga and going right across the country all the way to the south, down to Bluff, the farthest point of New Zealand. What I'll do is I'll put a map up on the screen that will show you the route. It's about 3,000 kilometres long, and all of the route is open to the public year round. And what that means is some people will choose to walk sections of it, some people will ride bits of it whenever they can. But the TA is better known for the Brouvet event, which I took part in earlier this year. Now, a Brouvet is a specific kind of event. It's not a race. It's a ride with a fixed route that you must stay on. And it usually has a bunch of control points. Now, for the TA Brouvet, what this means was you had to carry a GPS tracker. Um, there were th something like 30 control points where you had to stop and take a photograph. And you had to complete it within no less than 10 days and no more than 30. The TA is also a self-supported ride, meaning you carry all your own equipment and gear. It means you can't have your mate or your girlfriend driving along in a camper van to put you up for the night and help you out whenever you have a problem. But with that said, there's nothing to stop you staying at a hotel or eating in a nice fancy restaurant or going to the supermarket to pick up food or stopping at a cafe for breakfast. These are all capable things to do on a Brouvet event, or in the particular, the TA Brouvet as long as it's something that everyone can take part in. Now, the route itself is uh, mainly tried to keep off the main roads. The event organisers have done a great job of this, although you do end up riding on a sealed surface for about half of the distance or just a bit over that. The rest of the time, you're on quite a bunch of mixed surfaces comprised of things like gravel roads, uh, gravel cycleways, or regular cycleways that'll be dirt or rock, um, you know, sometimes you're even cycling along a sandy beach. As you can see in the background picture here, where we cycle along about 75, maybe more kilometres along 90 Mile Beach on the very first day. When I first heard about the TA, I was talking to a customer and he told me about this and I just didn't believe him. To be really honest, I thought he was pulling my leg. The idea that people would cycle some 3,000 kilometres in less than 30 days and after he told me that it was off-road for sections of it, I just couldn't believe that people did that. Anyway, I listened to him a bit more, and the more I listened, the more I was excited about it. In fact, what ended up happening was that during last year in 2021, in the second COVID lockdown, I was starting to get pretty frustrated. And I was looking for something to do, and I thought, wow, the TA, that could be for me. So I started planning about doing that, and sooner or later I signed up and I was hooked. I was really getting prepared to ride the tour at Aotearoa. The GPS tracking that uh, is required actually turns out to be a pretty cool thing because a company called Map Progress, um, they, uh, they provide mapping of the whole event, which is accessible to the public. And that's great because it means your family and friends can check out where you are and follow your progress, which is pretty neat, to be honest. I, I really like that part of the event because I found out that quite a few of my friends were tracking me and they'd send you text messages uh, on how well you're doing, which was really neat to kind of keep in touch with people. I'll put a link to Map Progress's website along with the TA's website in the description down below here somewhere. You'll find it. Just look down in the description. So anyway, after all the planning and sorting out a bike and everything else, the dates were rolling by and the time to start was coming up. So on the 25th of February this year, we loaded up my bike and all my gear into my partner's car. And we headed off from our hometown in Wellington for a quite a long drive up to Cape Reinga. On the way, we stopped over for a night in uh, Auckland, and that was great. It broke up the trip, and I, even better, I got to stop and see my cousin. The next day, we drove on up to Cape Reinga, where we stayed the night at the dock campgrounds, which was fantastic because it gave me a really easy start on the next day, which was the beginning of my event. Now, I should point out at this point, that the TA uh, releases the riders in groups. And my group was due to be released 
on the 27th of February at nine in the morning. And it was now that time. The next video in this section is uh, going to be day one of my actual event. I really hope you enjoy what I've put together here. And if you do, please consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. I really hope you enjoy the videos. Ciao.